Okay, I'm in Manx, Belarus now. It's uh, October 13th, 2022. And I made this here. It's a dual rotor motor generator. In between here is going to be a combination of motor coil on one side and generator coil on the other such as this. There's a ferrite core 25 millimeters long and one-third of the core is wrapped with a motor coil and two-thirds is wrapped as the generator coil. So it's pretty simple. Split motor and a generator coil. It's about mm, 25 gauge wire on there. And the coils go in between here. So the uh, both ends of the ferrite core get induced by these magnets as they spin. Here I have little magnets, smaller ones, 16 around here, and then a Hall effect will go nearby to these to turn MOSFETs on and off to drive the motor coil. There's 16 flat disc magnets. They're very thin. They're neodymiums, grade 52. And uh, 16 both sides. And here is the trick I'm going to do, the experiment. So let's say the motor coil is on this side. Also, I'm putting eight motor coils in here. I have a video of where I've already been running this from a couple of years ago and um, uh, I can link that for you down below. Um, when I got here this year I took it all apart and fixed it up. See, I have uh, nuts in here so I can adjust the air gap distance. It's going to have about 1.5 millimeters on each side of the coil. Maybe a little less. Okay, so here's the trick. This is what's kind of a cool idea. I can shift this so it's not straight across. So it's going to be north here and south here. So uh, when they're straight across, the uh, motor coil, when it induces the core, will react to both magnets on each end. But what I, but since there's one is going to be the motor coil, one side of the ferrite cores, eight of them, all the way around. Uh, what I want to do is maybe I can get rid of lens law or reduce it a lot by finding the a point while it's rotating where it's not straight across but rather about like maybe here or so or here and I can experiment with as it's turning a certain direction at a certain RPM and a certain voltage input, there should be some point where I, I skew, I offset the magnet that reacts to the generator side of the coil. So when lens law occurs, it might, it should give a little, some speed up when you load the generator coil and it doesn't brake and lug the motor as usually 
happens. And I did test this already, and I was getting lens lob with them straight across like this. So I'm thinking if I, you know, make it so there's a delay, a delay when the magnet passes by on the generator side. So I can like kind of finely adjust this. Also, uh, these are all facing the same direction, north, 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 all the way around. They aren't north-south. So another thing I could do is put this right in between there, like that, and see how that goes as a generator. Now this one will induce, and this one will induce, and it should create an AC because it, one side hits the front, and the other one hits the back of the core. And the edges of the magnets is when where the power is. The center of the magnets is kind of like a, the eye of a hurricane. So on a scope, when you see like the peaks, it's when the edge passes by. So there will be kind of a little double peak as the magnet passes by. Also testing some of my pulse motors in the past, I found that when you're in attractive mode, you want the core near the edge to pull it. But when you're in repulsive mode, you want the core a little bit more centered for the best speed, performance, power, and all that. So uh, if so, that's another reason to just have this a little bit uh, skewed, just slightly maybe, to make up for that. If I'm going for straight across, um, like straight across, so the this magnet and this magnet both simultaneously get pulled by each end of the core. And if I'm doing something like that, and I'm just going pure motor coil, no generator coil, I'll bet you that having this just a little bit off and then knowing which is repulsive and which is attractive, um, you can get better speed, better performance, and just in pure motor coil mode. But I think this is going to really do something. I don't know. I'm going to experiment. Because I can run it and then like have it here and then have it here, have it straight across, have it right in the middle. See what happens. So, anyways. So that's my newest video. And thanks for watching.